Hey guys, I wanted to make this video to check out the new app called Switcher. It's currently in beta and it gives you a different way to switch between your apps instead of using the multitask button. As always, the links are included in the description. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. So to bring up your recent apps, you swipe in from the activation zone. You can see you kind of get this carousel list where you scroll through your open apps. To choose one, you just lift your finger and the app will launch. Once you get used to it, it does feel pretty quick to use and would work great if you use full screen mode or hide your nav bar. Once you've installed the app, it's pretty simple to set up. It gives you a professional looking tutorial which explains everything clearly once you've got to the end you have the choice to choose the style and this essentially changes the way the recent apps are displayed now I'm gonna go with flow for now as I believe that's the most popular but I will go ahead and check out slide a little bit later to close out an app from the list you find the app you want to close then slide your finger down until you see the red area let go and the app will now be closed as you can see the play store is no longer available in the app list you also have the option to close all apps by sliding to the kill all button in the top right hand corner and the list will now be empty of course you have a fair number of settings to mess around with for example changing the location of the activation area to the left or right edge editing the margins for more precise use and changing the sensitivity so that it doesn't activate when you don't want it to right at the bottom here you also have black and white listing as well so let's try this slide style now you can see it says inspired by windows 8 you do get a little hint and tip on how to use it we'll just go ahead and hit next and press ok so the initial step is the same you swipe out from the activation point and you get these cards to change the app you have to go back and forth which looks cool but it's not quite as intuitive or as fast as the previous style to close out an app in this mode you just swipe it all the way to the other side of the screen and it'll be removed from your list i like this but i did find myself closing out apps by accident so be aware of that now one bug i found on this style is i can't switch when i'm actually inside an app now i don't know if it's because i have a custom launcher but you can see i can't access any of my other apps and it just opens up google chrome i'm not quite sure why you can see my other apps are there when i'm on the home screen but when I'm actually in an app right now, it's not quite working. Now, don't forget it is a beta, so I'm sure it will be ironed out. It also gives you the ability to customize the cover flow effects. And you can see you've got stuff like icon size, rotation effect, fade effect, zoom effect. So that's just down to your liking. You've also got options for running task limit and live task switching as well. If you get stuck at any point, I really suggest going over to the support section. It really is filled with useful information and quick fixes. If you put your activation point somewhere near the keyboard, your keyboard may become a little bit unresponsive. There's a quick fix for that right here in the support section, so definitely check it out. So there you go guys, I've been really impressed with this app. Don't forget it is still in beta, so if it's dropping a few frames in the animations, that's probably to be expected. I'm sure it will be fixed in a future build. Yeah, peace out.